if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Simple as that. Unless it's for the better. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more perfume reviews. Now let's go on to Cool Water. A little history before we start. Cool Water was made in 1988 by Pierre Bourdon. Now this was three years after its, I'd say brother, Green Irish Tweed was created. The latter was created in 1985 and according to Luca Turin, Pierre Bourdon has made both Green Irish Tweed and Cool Water. But we would never know if Pierre Bourdon really did the Green Irish Tweed unless we interview them. But one thing is for sure, Pierre Bourdon did create in 1988 Cool Water. Now I have been rocking Cool Water since elementary, late elementary days and high school, even in my transition to college, I was wearing cool water. In fact, everyone was wearing cool water. It is very recognizable. It is one of the freshies that paved the way for freshies like Isimiyaki's Lo Dici Pum Om and Apo Di Gio by Giorgio Armani. Now to its credit, cool water is this really very casual scent it is ageless even kids could wear this you know school guys could wear this college working class um even mature men could wear this and i dare say it is also unisex those are really good points for cool water but in this video i'd show you the differences between the vintage and the current formula that we have i made a little something so you can distinguish the bottle Let's go. Having seen the bottle, the vintage, and the current one, I'd say that the current one looks rather <laughs> cheap. Yeah, it does. So as a result of the bottle change, the formula followed as well. There was a reformulation, and this is where the performance failed. So now, we're going to be delving deep into the differences of the vintage versus the current formula. We dive in into the top, the mid, and the base. Now for the vintage or the top notes. What we're getting here is a huge dose of Cologne or Cologne. And there's this very cooling sensation about the mint that it has in here. We could also notice the green ferns in here. It's very dense. It's very lush. It is very evident. Also, the aromatic lavender. It has really prominent it's almost like a fougere whereas the current formula what we have is yeah huge doses of aqueous calone and we also have this lavender it's toned down a little bit um it's, it's just like in the background it's not really as active as the lavender in the vintage one also we are getting here um hints of vetiver on the top stage so you'll find something dark peeking in and out on the top okay so here's for the mid stage where it gets really interesting and really different for the mid notes of the vintage we could feel tobacco peeking in yes dried tobacco peaks it's paired with um very aromatic very relaxing lavender and we still get huge doses of Cologne, this fresh aqueous feel. We get this also this um, steel, the denseness of the green notes. It's very ferny, it's very fresh. It's also the lavender and the musks. Now for the current formula, what we're getting is just this aqueous notes from Cologne. We're also getting this um, low, very low quality musk. There's like hints of lavender here and there for the current formula, but it mainly comprises at the mid of 
low quality musk and kalum so that's it it's missing the tobacco that's in the vintage now as the base notes progress in the vintage we could still feel the whole composition the lush pretty greens the aquism kalum you still get hints of that lavender although it's dying out at this stage one hour plus stage we also get this uh, clean musks this uh, oceanic feel so everything is just well composed well directed it has its style it has its own direction whereas the current formula what we're getting is this salty musk salty low quality musk and Kalon is practically gone we're just left with some greens very thin greens and yeah basically that's it it dies down to Kalon, some musk and some greens for the current formula so there goes the differences between the notes i hope you found it useful no one has a reason why you shouldn't wear this anymore there is such an overwhelming supply in the u.s marshall's ross tj maxx it is everywhere discounters here in the philippines online sites every mall that we go through it has full water and it's just like weed it's it's everywhere now just like in real life you are too available anywhere anytime your demand and your value goes down now, as a result of this being too available everywhere anytime this has been become too familiar with people even their uncles their dads wore this before the scent dna it is too familiar for everyone therefore there's no challenge and no challenge for the noses of the masses means no good for today's standards the scent dna of pool water current one it has become too unoriginal it has become too uninspiring the dna has been copied and replicated several times multiple times to name a few we have the original green irish tweed we also have a uh, train by our mom we also have chez bond by bond number nine uh, we also have wings by beverly hills by the way my review is around here and we also have aspen and there's a whole host of other scents that smells like cool water yes it had its heyday before but for today i think the scent dna is i'd say very used up it has dried up its demand i mean it's it's not sought after anymore so i think david of cool water needs to take a rest for good another reason why you shouldn't wear this is the flankers for those new to my channel the flanker is just like an offshoot of the original let's say this is the original cool water the next release that they'll be doing they'll be adding some watermelon notes some cucumber and they call it by another name let's say cool water ice dye that's a flanker so with the abundance of its flankers rivaling Jean Paul Gaultier's Le Mal, I don't know which one has more flankers but every flanker that gets put out in the market the less and less interest that the masses had for this line so suffice to say all these flankers didn't help the original cool water and those are the reasons why you should not wear cool water anymore we have alternatives for this which is way better um, longer lasting and it's more dynamic so again um, hit me in the comment section if I miss any reasons why you shouldn't rock cool water anymore but again these are just my recommendations opinions and suggestions and at the end of the day you do you this has been your host Alex and yes I am out <laughs>